Okay, so the video you are just about to watch, I was just going to put it live and then I happened to see the latest comment um, on the previous video, which is from I am Xavier. And he's written here, thank you to everyone, including Xavier, I presume that's your name, uh, who comments. Thank you so much, all of you. Um, and he's put here, okay, God would admit it, when I want a comprehensive deep dive review, I come to BTEX. Well, Xavier, everyone, I'm sorry, but this next video, there's nothing deep about it. It's actually pretty silly. It was meant to be all about the Xperia 1 Mark II, the final video of the 1 Mark II in this series, because I think we've done 10 now or more on this incredible phone and how it compares with the competition. Um, but in the end, it just turned into a water balloon fight. So again, apologies in advance. There's plenty of synth wave in it, so hopefully uh, that will help you know, with the balance here. Anyway, enjoy and um, I'll see you later in the video. Cheers. Hi, I'm Tom. Uh, this is another rooftop review. We're up on the roof here in Panama City, Panama, and today we're going to be looking at which phones are best for slow motion. We've already looked at, let me think, night mode, which is the best for that, low light as well photography. We've done a special on that. We've done macro photography. Um, and all of these techniques are great for kind of really hamming up your social media, uh, if that's your cup of tea. So look, slow-mo, here's what we're dealing with. We're gonna kick things off with the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Here's some footage that we filmed of our new Brazilian friend uh, on Amador Causeway. Looks fantastic. I have to say the Samsung was very easy to use, easy to get to grips with. Um, <clears throat> it's a huge device, but as long as you can handle the size of it, it's fine. I mean, it's really good. Now let's move on uh, to the Pixel. Again, this is the smallest device out of all the ones we're testing here, but it's really, really easy to use. And of course, in Google Photos, when you go into the gallery there, it's easy to adjust the section uh, that you have the slow motion on, which Again, that's just a really nice touch, very user friendly, as is the Sony, because of course it also uses the same gallery there from Google. Looks beautiful on the display of the Sony as well. It's just very, very cool looking, um, easy to use. And then actually, um, we threw in the iPhone, I know it's nearly a year old, but we threw in the uh, iPhone 11 here and it looks superb. Isn't it funny how it's one of the cheapest phones here, if you can call it cheap, you can't really. Um, comparable to the uh, Pixel 4 in price, but it's just so, so good at video in general and just as good at slow motion as well. But to really shake things up a bit, let's move it over to um, some high intensity uh, balloon larking about that we did on the roof, Andres and I, because we're not too old to have fun with water balloons, obviously not even close. Now, do you have one of these phones or a phone by one of these manufacturers? Is it any good at slow motion? Are you happy with the slow motion capture here? And also, out of all of these videos we've got here from all these phones, which one is standing out as best for you? Which manufacturer do you think does the best job when it comes to slow motion? I'd love to know. As ever, I will be in the comments section below. I'll see you there.
We found all of these very good to use. The super slow motion on the Samsung, okay, it's an interesting effect, but the novelty kind of wears off that pretty quick just because it, it looks, apart from that effect itself, it looks rubbish. Uh, but it, it does well enough. I don't want that's a bit too harsh. It does well enough for super slow mo. Uh, but yeah, generally speaking, all of these look fantastic. Um, and it's a lot of fun. A really nice way of getting some quality content into your social media, along with all the other techniques we've, uh, we've discussed. Um, now, I just want to say one thing. To my friends in the UK who say to me, why did you start a business in Panama? I mean, what's so great about Panama? Well, apart from, you know, all of this behind me. In fact, you might be able to see in the very distance, Amador Causeway there going out to the uh, islands. That is where we filmed uh, our friend there on the uh, skateboard. Um, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful city. Uh, very soon, I don't know when. Oh, I'm gonna just get that. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little slow-mo special. I even said slow-mo, slow there for you. Uh, I didn't mean to. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Make sure you're subbed and hit the notification bell because all of the Pixel 5 content we have coming up is just around the corner. All the iPhone 12 series content is just behind that. So there's a huge amount to look forward to. I look forward to uh, doing these videos with you and I'm not going to say look forward to any more. Cheers. Bye-bye.